guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm so excited for today's project. I am going to be trying out the Alumalite Ocean Epoxy Kit. This kit is so cool. It comes with the epoxy, the dyes, the buckets, the mixing sticks, literally everything you could possibly need to create some ocean uh, resin projects. I'm gonna be doing a table today. I figured I need a new coffee table and this is a good project to do for that. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is get my epoxy mixed up. This has a part A and part B, the resin and the hardener. And you mix these with a 50-50 ratio. My surface here, which by the way is just, it's a scrap piece of wood that I had that I sanded and primed. It's about uh, eight square feet. So for that, I'm gonna need around 24 ounces of epoxy. But I'm gonna mix up a little bit more just to make sure I have plenty. And you basically, you need about three ounces per square foot. And so I'm just measuring this out. I always put side B in first because it is thinner. And then side A after that. That makes it so it's a little bit easier to get it mixed properly. This kit actually came with a drill mixer, which is super cool, but I'm a mix by hand kind of girl and I'm not mixing up all that much. So I'm just going to use a stir stick. This needs to be mixed for several minutes to make sure that it gets mixed fully. I'm gonna be scraping the sides, scraping the bottom and just mix, 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 mix. <laughs> so I'm gonna get it all mixed up and then I will be right back. All right, I've got my epoxy fully mixed up. Now it's time to add the colors. Um, this did come with four of these buckets, but because I don't quite need that much, I'm using some smaller cups. White is the color that I'm going to be using the least of, so I'm going to mix that first. Uh, let's see, so pour my clear in here. I only need about that much. Now the dyes, a little goes a long way. And you don't need ever any more than like 15% coloring to your resin. You don't want to add more than that or your resin won't cure properly. So I'm just going to add some a little bit and then I'm going to see how it looks and add a little bit more if I want to, depending on the transparency. This is an opaque dye. I've used these dyes before, so I'm pretty familiar with them. They're awesome. All right, I think that's pretty good on the white. Looks good to me. Now we'll mix up our colors. And for these, I'm gonna do equal parts of the tan and the two blues. And I've never tried this tan color, so that's kind of exciting. I do love both of these blues though. I'm just evenly distributing. I am gonna leave a little bit of clear as well. Okay, a little bit more. All right, that should be plenty. So let's start with, this is just the blue. This is translucent blue. And this should be the darker color. Then we have the ocean blue. And this all comes with the kit. It comes with all these colors. And then the tan for the sand area. And you can of course use, you know, real sand or anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and try this color though because I've never tried it before. All right. Okay. And the ocean blue is just a little bit more of the teal, I think, if I remember correctly. I actually never used these two together <laughs> in the same project. Okay. So there we go, we got our colors mixed up and now we're ready to get started. So exciting. All right, I'm gonna start off with the regular blue over here. I know it looks pretty dark, but the second I start spreading it out, you'll see the blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread that out first before, whoop, before adding the other blue. Get my stick out. There 
is no right or wrong way to do this. You can kind of do it however you want. I might even add a little bit of white into this. This is coming out kind of a little darker than I anticipated, but that's okay. Make sure you get all your edges. Underneath here, by the way, guys, I do have a silicone mat, which is so amazing for these because the resin just peels right off. And that's from Lowly Vefe. Super good products. Okay. So there's my first blue. You can kind of see on the thinner areas, it's not as dark. Let's try out this ocean blue and see how that one looks. And I don't need even all of this. All right, there's the ocean blue. Yeah, so this is coming out more of a teal. And you can put, this is like as much, put as much water as you want. Like if you want more sand, go more sand. I want more water, so I'm going farther down. And then I think what I'm gonna do here too is I don't like where it's just a solid line. So I'm gonna kind of bring this over a bit. You can of course use trowels and stuff to do this too, you guys. You do not need to use your hands. I just kind of like to get in there with my hands. So I'm gonna make this go over here so that it's not such a stark line. And don't worry, once we heat this up, I'll start to move around a bit more and those, any lines that I put in there with my hands will just disappear. I'm gonna come around to the other side because I wanna make sure that I got the other side fully. Felt like I missed a couple spots. And I am going to actually, I want to throw a little bit of white into here just to lighten up some parts. Okay. All right. There we go. That's cool. And don't forget, I'll be putting more white in here when we get to the waves themselves also. And this is what I like to call kind of the ugly stage <laughs> before we hit it with the heat gun and make it all go where we want it to. All right, awesomeness, good. Now let's go ahead and add the sand. So I'm gonna take the tan over here, start at this end. And we want to get this fully covered. First time trying this color, so I'm not really sure how this will look. Oh, it looks nice as I spread it out. Cool. And feel free to use, um, you know, like real sand in conjunction with your color. If you do want to do that, I would just put on the color and then go in afterwards and drizzle the sand, the actual real sand on it. And then you'll of course wanna make sure you seal it with a clear layer so that none of the sand falls off. All right, I'm gonna bring this sand pretty much right up to my blue. Not quite, they definitely do not need to be touching. Make sure all the sides get covered. Good. All right, perfect. And now it is time for the fun part, the white. So before I add white, and oh man, if you can see over here, there's already some fun cells and reactions there. So before I add the white, I'm gonna actually throw a little bit of clear into here. And 
then I think I'm going to throw a little bit of clear up here as well, where I'm going to be adding some more white. Okay. Excellent. And now we get in with the white. You can add as much or as little of this as you want. I do kind of recommend though, take it slow with the white because you can add more white. You cannot take it back out. So if you go ahead and put too much in there, that's kind of how much you have. All right, now I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun and move it around. Take it slow, move it whichever way you want. I'm gonna move it towards the water first. And actually I'm gonna put some of the blue over the white too. you guys not to do I did go in here a little bit too much with the white so I'm actually gonna go in here with my stick and a little bit of blue and kind of break that up a little bit and then I'll get back to the heat gun but man this is creating some really awesome effects on top of this tan color I'll just do a little strip of white here as well this is, you can just play around with it, you know, there's no right or wrong with this. And just remember, you can always move everything around with the heat gun. All right, here we go back with the heat gun. So this has been slowly shifting this way, so I actually want to try and tilt this back a little bit to get a little bit more sand in here. Okay, there we go. I think I am quite happy with that. I'm going to take a little of the leftover uh, resin colors and hit up the sides with this. Then I'm going to go ahead and torch it real quick and we'll do a, a close up. starting here over here on the right hand side there's definitely some glare from the lights but I mean check out just this amazing foaminess I was able to get with these dyes and this epoxy it's awesome and even over here on the sand looks super cool feel like there is maybe a little bit more white than I want in there to be perfectly honest but I also think that as it moves as it's drying that will kind of dissipate a little bit 
that's kind of what I'm hoping. But overall, I am super duper happy with this. So we're going to let this dry. Um, I am going to clear coat it, and then I'll show you the final product. Here is our table complete. Of course, it is resin, so it's very reflective. Um, but just gorgeous. Very happy with all the lines and cells on here. I did end up going back in and putting one more blue line in here to break up that white a little bit. And just keep in mind too, you could do multiple layers on this. Like if you wanted to go back in and do more clear and white and add more waves, you totally can. I am actually quite happy with how this came out. I just added some white legs and it is good to go. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This kit is pretty darn awesome. So check it out, especially if you love making beach art. And I will see you all next time.